we are going to be looking at Josh Vasquez's video here for the installation of Chevy Spark EV aftermarket speakers, because boy, oh boy, does it need them. For the detailed installation of how to put these in, check out Josh Vasquez's video. He does a great job at the installation and removal of these speakers. This is probably going to be your biggest area of, of improvement. We got 4 ohm at 40 watt for this jammy. And you can see here, this has this hook up here. And that is why we got those wonderful connections. So we don't have to splice anything. I didn't want to use anyone's copyrighted music, so I made my own beats off a of garage band. No matter how I worked the EQ on the stock speakers, I couldn't get the volume up past 20. The stock speakers just couldn't handle the bass and the gain. The biggest improvement of the aftermarket speakers was the ability to turn the volume up and not have any distortion. New speaker. Old speaker. On the big bass edge, you can hear it breaking up. Stock. The new one. Stock. The new one. Guys, to my ears, that is a major upgrade. Just try and match the ohms and wattage the best you can. If you currently own or are interested in owning a Chevy Spark EV, check out the Chevy Spark EV forum. The people on there are very friendly, and you can find out more information on aftermarket speakers. Just plug anything into the search and search the posts. If you can't find it, ask the question. I mean, not a lot of it works, but you get the overall effect, you know, you definitely do. Check that and other videos out on my channel. If you haven't subscribed, do that now. Hit the bell for more notifications, and you'll be on the notification squad there. Also, give the video a thumbs up if this helped you out. If you like the video, check out Josh Vasquez's video on how to install the speakers for a real better in-depth look. This is Joe with the SVTWRC channel. Support the troops. See you later.